Hey guys, welcome back. Screen we coming at you for another video of Ray Shadows. Hopefully you're doing well and looking after yourselves. And hopefully uh, real life not being too crazy. Uh, Bastille is still looking fantastic as normal. As you can see, I am rocking a brand new avatar for my accounts. Seems like one of the referral accounts I could away. Uh, someone's been cheeky and spent a little bit of dollar. So uh, thank you whoever it was for the new avatar. I will take it. Thank you very much. Uh, free gear removal is nearly finished. We've got like 20 hours left. I have been a busy bunny. Basically finished up Cur City uh, on hard mode. Back to back, back to back. So three times in a row now I've cleared it. Carnage is on his way. Hopefully coming at the end of April, I believe. Or something like that. I've cleared it three out of four. So I'm a little bit behind a few others. Anyway. So I have been busy with the champion uh, with gear removal. This video is going to come out a little bit late, later than normal for you guys, uh, whoever watching this. Okay. So I've been rebuilding my account. I've at the moment trying to clear Curse City. I'm trying to reorganize my account basically by not touching any P versus E champions or P versus P champions. Because right now I spend a lot of silver with gear requirements, movement between Santa, Sun Devil. Phantom Shogun, Fire Knight, um, Hydra, all the different levels in Hydra. So basically, I've been able to be quite successful. I built a new Phantom Shogun without moving the team. I've got a new Sand Devil team now going and stuff like that. So this is what I'm going to showcase today is my Sand Devil team. Now, I've been looking at a couple of teams. I can run really fast comps, but they're not 100%. So I wanted something that I don't care so much. Uh, and how fast it is i was mainly caring about like spend a lot of gems on sand devil over time it is adding up so i wanted a hundred percent team i am lucky enough to own a spare duchess and spare rio i've got two rios so it's not spare one still the same one in general and then i've got three husks now all these husk was basically upgraded with hydro and hydro first coming out I don't use them no more. I have basically threw them to the side and not used them. I think the only thing I used them for then, since then, is Curse City, right? So I'm like thinking, okay, cool. So what can I do? And I'm thinking, okay, cool. So we can build these out for Sand Devil because in the team, I was like, okay, cool. So yeah, pretty uh, nifty team. This is a another Duchess that. I'm not really using, I was just using on free versus free defense because my defense, my Duchess already is pretty strong and I'm not really pushing plat as much. So uh, I don't really need a second Duchess for defense. And anyway, I'm still using my main Duchess as a platinum defense because I know I don't have to always come Rishka, So I just kind of went with it, right? So anyway, we're going to open up with Duchess, uh, everyone's meant to die. Duchess is meant to be a tank enough to survive this. And then she revives, so you need a quite slow and tanky. Now, Duchess is quite resources hungry, in all fairness. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. So, Duchess is going to be the hardest one to build. Probably Rio is second after that. The other husks are quite simple. Now, you could substitute uh, husk out for other enemy max HP damage champions, other than anything like uh uh gina because gina has a triple hit right which will kind of throw off the speed tune and stuff like that royal guards weak affinity and stuff so there isn't many people that can probably work here and if it is it's going to change it up a little bit but the slothity is the same basically um this is doing averagely one minute 30 to about two minutes on average depending on like rng with rio and stuff like that so for me, super, super cool, and he is 100% now. So, um, I had a little bit difficult with the HP at first to play around with HP on Rio to see how consistent it was, and not had any problems since then. So, for me, bear in mind you can now also run Sandal twice all the time. Like, I'm not really care caring about these events, I'm not going after the Relentless. So, it's like, oh, uh, I just do it when I'm asleep or. I do it when I'm making a video or do something when I'm busy, right? So anyway, as you can see, we're going to come in here. We get clean it up. I've had to barely not worry about investments, spend a couple of gems, reset masteries and stuff like that. But as you can see, two minutes, right? 
super cool. Um, and bear in mind, if you use him uh, super raids as well, you're spending more energy. If your team is 100%, you're using, losing more energy. So if your team is 100%, I wouldn't do super raids. All right, let's go a look and take the t at the team presets, right? So Dutch is going to open with the uh, revive. Rio is going to open with the A1. Then we're going to set her up to do the A2 and then A3. Okay. Plus, we're going to turn off the A3, open with A2. That's the same with all of them. So as you can see, the little bits of the speeds do differ uh, more or less. Okay, cool. Let's go out and check all the gear and stuff like that. I don't want to be talking too long on this. So uh, that's my main duchess, which you do not want to see. Uh, we got a four piece or sorry, two piece set of Divine. Now, Divine is a two piece set. So we've got two of them. Uh, we're going for basically a really nice tanky build, right? So we've got Speed Aura already from Duchess, which gives you 19 in all battles. So you do need to put Duchess in Elite. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, Sand Devil because I have put four speed on. So defense is 4,680. Nine, now if you've got a level one Duchess, it's perfectly fine. For the Blessings, I would try and get a level one now because it's really going to help you. And then the HP is coming in a whopping, whopping of 139,000 HP. It's nearly, sorry, 135,000 HP. It's nearly as bad as mine, uh, other one. But, you know, it's not too bad in a day. So, yeah, a bit, a bit on the heavy side for uh, stats, right? So what we've got, we've got HP banner, a defense here. Now, bearing in mind, we've got extra... Uh, hp or something yeah 15 percent hp because of um the pet protection sets um and some of these gear was already oiled as well so i'm not oiled it for the videos just oiled it for other things and i've kind of just changed builds over a period of time right so the masteries are very something you need to be careful of we've actually come with lexor life you don't want cycle magic you don't want spirit haste because if they die your speeds increase and anything's thrown off you don't want retribution. You don't want cycle of vengeance. You don't want self deflex. You just don't want any of these. This is all you need for a Duchess, right? And just keep it that way. <laughs> like, just keep it simple. Right, let's have a look at Rio then. So, Rio, these are her masteries. We're going to come in with Eagle Eye. Again, we don't want turn meter masteries. You don't want cooldown masteries. Just keep it simple. Keep it short. Keep it sweet. That is what you generally would like to see um if you can get some brimstone that'd be cool or any type of blessing uh which would be super cool doesn't really matter too much accuracy requirements is around about 550 accuracy um but you can aim up to 600 if you want i'm a little bit short but it's no problems i run it already a couple of times speed is about 101 to 300 and then minimum defense of 2500 and then we're looking for like minimum HP, which is 65,000. So I'm just on the border level, right? If you can get a level one blessing, that will give you 7,500. Rio can't really be placed. She's the one and only uh, champion that can do what she does. She's definitely needed for the heal. So it's not like you can just replace her with Lydia or anything like that for that. So just bear that in mind. Then we have our free husk. Now all the free husk are the same speeds, same masteries same builds etc right i'm just going to show you the better build i'm going to go and show you all three husks there's no need to do that they're literally the same speeds the same builds so we're going to come in with hp we're going to come in with critical damage and then hp right hp percentage uh we want speed or hp here don't ask me why i'm using uh attack boots it's just what the optimizer picked out for me hp here critical damage critical damage uh, critical damage uh, at the top and then across the board. All right, all three husks go in savage. That is generally what you want. Now we're going to come and look at this, right? Now we know that we don't want a war master because it'll count as the clock when he's asleep. So that's something you don't want to take into consideration. You don't want giant slayer either. So these are the masteries. Flawless execution is the way to go against this boss. You don't want cycle of violence. You don't want to get the cycle of magic coming cycle of violence coming through you don't want that life drinker is perfectly fine you do want to heal when he's uh, sleeping so 
there we are there is a team is a short and quick video from me hopefully you enjoy this um just blessings quickly i would go with harvest um and then i would probably come in i'd probably take one harvest and then cruelty as well take like a mix of both that's fine i've got question rem because i do use them actually in um plus city on a couple of rotations which is generally better for that as well so there we are there is my new sand devil team and that is why i'm building it hopefully you guys like this please remember to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching until the end i've been really i'll see you on the next one peace